Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. We have 2 to the power 1 over x equals 5 to the power 1 over y equals 100 and we're going to find the value of x plus y. I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first one. For the first method here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first set the 2 to the power 1 over x equal to 100. And then from here, I'm going to, by using definition of logarithms, or you can log both sides basically, base 2, log base 2 of 2 to the power 1 over x equals log base 2 of 100. And then you can go ahead and move the 1 over x to the front, and log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. So you're going to get 1 over x times 1, which is 1 over x, equals log base 2 of 100. Now we can go ahead and flip both sides and find x from here but x is just going to be 1 over this but we have a really interesting property of logarithms we can switch the 1 and the 2, 100 and the 2 around we can write this as log base 100 of 2. That's going to be our x value. Let's go ahead and find the y value the same way. We get 1 over y so I'm going to write it as 5 to the power 1 over y equals 100. And then from here, 1 over y is just going to be by using the definition of or by logging both sides, log base 5 of 100. And then from here, y is just going to be the reciprocal. And that, as you know, that can be written as I kind of flipped it twice, kind of ahead of myself. And then this is going to equal log of um, with base 100 of 5. Okay. So we have the x value and we have the y value in terms of logs. And we can go ahead and add them now because we are looking for x plus y. It's going to be log 2. Of course, we're using base 100 here. And log 5 in base 100. And we have, again, the property of logs. If you're adding two logs, that is the log of a product. So we can write this as 2 times 5, which is 10. And then well, we can use the definition of logarithms one more time and write this as 1 half, or think about it, like set it equal to z. 100 to the power what number equals 10? And the answer would be 1 half. So you can find the answer that way, or you can also do this. Uh, you can use change of base here and write this as ln 10 over ln 100. But ln 100 is ln 10 squared. And then you can move the 2 to the front. This is going to become ln 10 over 2 ln 10. And then ln 10 cancels out, and you end up with 1 half again. All right, so x plus y becomes 1 half. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So second method, we're going to set 2 to the power 1 over x equal to 100 and 5 to the power 1 over y equal to 100 because these are given. And then from here, we're going to raise both sides to the power x and x is going to cancel out. 2 to the power 1 is 2, so we're going to get 100 to the power x equals 2. And here we're going to raise both sides to the power y. From here, we're going to get y cancels out and 100 to the power y equals 5. This is very nice because uh, I can do something with these, right? I'm looking for x plus y. Remember that. And what can I do? I can multiply these two things and use powers of properties. And 100 to the power x plus y is equal to 10, which is 2 times 5. And then think about it. Square root of 100 is 10, and square root means something to the power 1 half. Or you can write this as 10 to the power 2 to the power x plus y equals 10. And then from here, you can basically uh, multiply the 2 by x plus y. So you're going to get 2 times x plus y or 2x plus 2y. And then now set the 2 times the quantity x plus y equal to 1 because 10 to the power 1 equals 10. 
and from here x plus y becomes one half. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. For our third method, we're going to go ahead and break down 100. First, for 2 to the power of 1 over x, I'm going to write it as 2 to the second times 5 to the second. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the second so that it becomes like this. And then use powers of, uh, or whatever, rules of powers, subtract the exponents, and you're going to get the following. Now, my goal is the following. I want to isolate the 5 and then substitute it in the, into the second one. But let's go ahead and isolate 5 from here. We're going to first make a common denominator and then raise, uh, raise both sides to the power 1 half. And that's going to do the trick. Let's see how we can use this. Raise this to the power 1 half. Raise this to the power 1 half. In other words, we're square rooting both sides. And from here we get 2 to the power 1 minus 2x over 2x because the 1 half and the, uh, the 2 in the 1 half and the x are multiplied equals 5. Awesome. Now, this is really cool. You can go ahead and save it for future use. And then let's take a look at the second equation. What does the second equation say? It says 5 to the power y equals 100. But I can write it as 2 to the second times 5 to the second. And then from here, dividing both sides by this, I get 5 to the power 1 over y divided by 5 to the second equals 2 to the second. Obviously, I want to use the 5, so let's go ahead and, um, you know, simplify this. Subtract the exponents. And then make a common denominator and, you know, subtract, obviously. And since my goal is to substitute what I got for 5 here, I can do it. I could have done it earlier too, but I believe it's going to be a little easier if we simplify it first. So, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and replace this 5 with this expression right here. 2 to the power 1 minus 2x over 2x. Let's do it. 2 to the power 1 minus 2x over 2x is going to replace 5 only, just the 5. So the exponent stays, and I get this gigantic expression. I know it looks confusing, but don't worry. We're going to handle this, and the results are going to be very surprising. It's going to be fun. I know this method is kind of like super duper painful, but hey, I just want to introduce different methods. That's why. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set the equ uh, exponents equal to each other. Obviously, now we can forget about the bases now, right? So this is equal to 2. And then cross multiply and simplify the numerator. Let's go ahead and do it. 1 minus 2y minus 2x plus 4xy. And when you multiply across or cross multiply, not multiply across, but cross multiply like this, you get 4xy. Yay, that's amazing because 4xy cancels out. Beautiful. Now that gives you 1 minus 2y minus 2x equals 0. And if you isolate 2x plus 2y, you get 1. But this is 2 times x plus y equals 1. And if you divide both sides by 2, remember, our goal is to solve for x plus y, not x and y individually. x plus y becomes 1 half from here. And this brings us to the end of the third method and to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.